Hello and welcome to programming with C++. Uh, today, the focus of our lesson is going to be on operators in C++. Okay, so what is an operator? Uh, we say that an operator simply means a symbol uh, that is used to represent an operation. So in C++, there are a lot of operators. So um, let's look at um, the first category of operators. You have the arithmetic operators. Uh, which basically includes um, addition, um, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, and then modulus. So, um, if you would see here um, how you'd represent this operation in C++. So, for addition, you use the plus, minus. Uh, for the subtraction, you use the dash sign. And then multiplication, you use the star. Division, you use the backslash. And then modulus, you use the percentage sign. Okay. So, um, the second operator is um, what we call the relational or comparison operators. Uh, basically, as the name defines, it helps to establish relationships between two variables. So, um, let's look at this here. You have the equal to. Equal. So, you see plus plus, and this is used for equal to. When we say equal to, um, in mathematics, you see plus plus, you use a double of the equal to sign. And then anytime you see a single sign, it means what, uh, an assignment sign. So this is um, what we call the equal to operator. So and the next one is um, the not equal to operator, um, where we use an exclamation mark and then an equal to sign to represent that in C++. So you have the greater than operator also. We have the less than operator. So we have the less than or equal to with so we bring first the greater than sign uh, sorry the greater than or equal to so you bring the greater than sign followed by the equal to then we have the um, less than or equal to okay so the next okay so um last is the um increment and decrement uh operator um basically um we have the plus plus and the minus minus plus plus here is means increment it represents the increment in c plus plus and then the minus minus here or subtract subtract here and um, represents decrement so with the um, plus plus basically what happens is that it adds a value or it adds one sorry it adds one to the value to the existing value and then the minus minus um, deducts one um, from the existing value so next Operator you only call is the assignment operators. So we have the equal to, which um, basically means assigning a, a value to a variable. The second is we have the um, the addition assignment. Um, so let me do some and here. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, a a plus Anna. a plus cross B. Okay. So um, this basically is equivalent to um, A cross A plus B. So they are the same thing. This is the same as this. So they are the same thing. So basically what happens is that um, it adds the value of B to A. So that's what this means. This operator element, it adds the value of B to A. This, I'm going to do this. All right, so we have the next operator as the subtraction assignment. So an example could be A minus cos So um, what happens here is that um, this is actually subtracting the value of B from A. So this is the same as A equals A minus B. So the same thing. And then we have, okay, we have uh, the multiplication assignment, which would also have it as A star equals E the same as multiplying a by b so it's the same as a equals well, a equals let me write for a equals a times 
truth. So they are the same thing. Yeah. That the mission assignment. Basically, it's the same thing. It's the same theory here. We have A, the mission equals B. It's the same as dividing A by B. This is the same as A equals A divided by B. So this is what is happening. Basically, this here, let me explain this here. So what happens is that the value of this operation is stored in the value A. Get it? So the value of this operation gets stored in value A. So we have the uh, modular assignment, which is um, A. Let me clean this first. Just A. Modulo. Equals D. But this what is happening, what is happening is that it's, uh, 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 do you see, uh, it performs the modulo equation on A and B and stores the value in A. And um, the bitwise and assignment. Thank you. Yes. So let's look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have next the bitwise and the assignment. Basically, what happens is that it performs a, a bitwise operation, a, a bitwise and operation. So we have an uh, example could be A bitwise, something like S. Okay, let me, let me do it again. Like this, that is the bit twice. So, what do you see here? Yeah, so SA equals B. So basically, what happens is that it performs the bitwise, this bitwise operation. This one, it performs bitwise operation on A and B and stores the value in A. So, let's look at um, the bitwise or operation. So, basically, same here. So, A or equals. B. What happens here is that this is the same as A. So it's the uh, yeah. So A equals A. Yeah. So this is what this so it actually performs a bitwise or operation and then stores the value in A. And so the next is uh, the exclusive or basically that's the same performs twice operation a let's see sorry let me get this right so the bay when appeal let's go see yeah this is the same as a goals a exclusive or b two it's or operation and then storing the value in A. So we have the F shift assignment. So uh, this is basically uh, the, yeah, this is how this, the sign that represents the net bit assignment. So basically what is happening is that, uh, let me give a simple example here. We will be going to the Practical session reason. So, say A is done, is done, is B. This is the same as A equals A less than, less than, yeah. So, this basically performs a left bitwise shift on A by B positions and stores the results in A. So, uh, the same goes for the right um, shift assignment. So you have A, then it goes to this kind of a quick cutter, wing cutter. This is the same as A, it goes A and wing cutter. cutter. Okay. So this performs a, a right the twice shift on A by B positions and installs the results in uh, the variable A. So let's go to actually calibrate this let's go let's have it so with the logical operators uh, basically logical operators are used to perform logical operations uh, typically in conditional statements so 
Let's look at the first logical operator. So the logical end, which is represented with C, right? Let's see, glass, glass, like this. Um, so uh, basically, this returns true if both operands are true, and then false if otherwise. So, yeah. So let's uh, we're going to the practical session. Yeah. So and let's go to this one. Is the logical or uh, the moment one statement, yeah, or one operand uh, turns out to be true. So if you could have uh, either a true or a false, or a false or a true. The moment one of them, there is a one a single truth in the statement. Yeah, it's uh, going to be then true. And then uh, we have the not the logical not. Yeah, it returns true if the operand is false and false if the operand is true. So if it's one, it returns zero. If it's zero, it returns one. So that is basically what I'm saying. So um, and last is the conditional tenuing. Yeah. I want to look at the practical uh, examples of this one. Let's look at the conditional. And uh, so the conditional operators, uh, uh, also known as uh, the narrow operators in C++, are used to evaluate the condition and return one of two values here. Yeah based on uh, the results of the condition. So, yeah, I want to actually look at the practical application of these things. 